Hey guys, welcome to our intro into our Mitsubishi Rosa bus build. I'm Andrew. And I'm Carolyn. Um, we thought we'd give you a, a, a bit of a look back of where we started and how we came to the decision that we wanted to um, build a tiny home out of our bus. So about eight years ago, I was um, doing work for a, a person down in northern New South Wales in Australia. I'm a computer technician and I was fixing their computer and I was asking her what, how long she'd lived there and she actually said, no, I don't live here, I actually am house-sitting. And I said, what's house-sitting? And she explained that they, the owners go away on holidays and they look after their pets and their house while they're away. And I thought, gee, that's a good idea. And we've been travelling and we love to travel and we were always wanting to find a way that we could do it full time. And this was a great opportunity to do it. So I came home and told Carolyn, but Carolyn at the stage wasn't quite ready to do it. So it took probably another four years. I guess. I didn't really think about it much, to be honest. Yeah, about four years. And Carolyn had got to a stage where that she was now ready to, to make the move and and jump in and go out and travel the world. How were we going to do it? We were going to use house and pet sitting to be able to do most of it because we could do it for free. We just had to have some money behind us so we could pay for the, the fares and stuff. And also Carolyn was lucky enough that her boss allowed her to do some remote work, um, which was great because we it sort of saved us really sometimes, yeah, didn't yeah. it? So that was really good. So... In 2018, we're, we had our house up for sale. We were hoping it would sell really quickly, but it took about... It took a year, I think. It took a year. Yeah. Um, we were actually in Canada with my mum and dad. We were on a five-week holiday with my mum and dad. And the Because real... I think we thought the house was never going to sell, <laughs> yeah. so we just thought we'd spend the money and go. Yeah. So while we were away, the real estate rang us up and he said he had an offer on the house and we said, beauty. So um, it basically, we signed the papers in Jasper, um, faxed them back to Australia. Um, when, when we came home, we actually had to be out of the house, what, a month? Yeah, we had a month. We had a month. So basically from then we, we took the step and said, okay, let's organise house city. So... We sold our house, we sold our car, we sold all the furniture that we had. We kept a few things which put into storage. And while we were doing that, we got a house set up in, in Queensland, in Sunshine Coast, as our first house set to see whether we liked it. We probably did it the wrong way around. We probably should have done that first, but that's what we wanted to do. We fell in love with, love with it. So we decided then that we were going to book our overseas trip and... And we organised a house sit in Denver, Colorado, or just outside of Denver. And that was it. That's where we started. So in August... 2018. 2018, we flew out of um, Brisbane, uh, heading towards the USA. And we were away for nine months house sitting and pet sitting. We went the US. We went then over to the UK, Scotland... Switzerland. Switzerland, Wales, France. And then on the way back home, we stopped in at Thailand to have a, have a, a bit of time with a friend that was over there and also did a house sit there. Mm. We came home and we were home doing some house sits. Um, and then we had another three months away. Yeah, we did another three months we did in another, a circle. Yeah, we did another three months in the States. and we did, went to Helsinki on that one, Koh Samui. Yep. Um, so both times we had around the world ticket so that was handy um, and we fell in love with doing road trips in between it and we th we wanted to do more road trips and less house sitting but the house sitting uh, sort of helped us through it anyway we came home and we did love the house yeah we did yeah we, we loved, loved the it and we, the people that we met and... we did 25 house sits i think yeah somewhere around there but it is a bit of work too yeah. so it's not like it's just a holiday yeah but i mean we loved it it was great we enjoyed it Anyway, we came back and then we we thought, well, let's look at doing some just some travel. And we wondered how we'd do it. And we found a couple that we knew online that... Through house sitting as well. <laughs> yeah, that 
had actually bought an RV in the States. And they gave us the name of a bloke that we could do buy an RV through. So we talked to him and he was able to do it for us. He was able to buy it for us and register it and basically have it all ready for when we got there. And we thought, beauty. So we had three months set for the US yes. and then we had six months set for Canada. Canada. Um, we flew out on the 8th of March, 2020. And we all know what happened in 2020. <laughs> COVID hit. So we got to the States and everything was closing down. Um, San Francisco airport was just nothing. Um, very quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> anyway, spent a few days in San Fran and then went up to Seattle to get our RV. And we'd never been camping. Well, we'd been camping a little bit, but usually in tents. Long time ago. Long time ago. But the RV was a the first time it was 23 foot Winnebago it was in 1989 so she was an old girl but she was great um, she would have been really high class in her time yeah <laughs> but we wouldn't have been able to afford her back then <laughs> so anyway we we got it and we stacked her up uh, stocked her up with all the things we needed because it had nothing we had to get sheets and cutlery Cutlery. and plates and everything so we stayed five days at um the guy's place at um in his driveway yep that bought the rv for us he was great uh and then we we head off well being that covid was now in full swing the campgrounds were shut down the, the national parks were shut down so everywhere we planned to go was shut down so we thought okay what are we going to do here Anyway, we decided we'll just wing it and we'll just go around and boondock or free camp wherever we find a place. And we loved it. We just fell in love with it. Yeah. And we thought this is what we want to be doing. So we went to go and see if we could get into Canada, but that's a long story. We won't go into that. But it's funny. <laughs> anyway, we couldn't do it, so we had to come home. So we came home. Um, went through our two weeks of quarantine. Ice, yeah, quarantine and then we got back to normal life which was a downer. Carolyn with her work actually got back into full time work which she's still doing now and she's... That's to help us save yeah, that though. is. It was for a plan, it helps my boss but it also helps us. And because we all know what's happening with COVID we don't know whether we're going to be able to travel for a while, um, whether overseas we have or whatever. overseas, but we can travel in Australia. So hence the idea that we look at a bus conversion. We'd been looking for a while, we'd been talking about it for a while. We looked at buying an uh, RV, but, but the one... Something like we had, a but, second hand or whatever. But there were a few issues with that that we didn't like or we wanted to improve which we could do if you build it. Yeah. So we thought, okay, let's look at a razor or a coaster. Well, the coasters and the razors, the coasters are more popular at the moment, but the razors are longer, or the one that we've got, and wider. So we thought that's more like what we can do. We want a shower and a toilet. Because you're going to be living in it full time time. too. It's not just a holiday thing. So that was what we did. We found... I'd been looking for a while and we found a rosa that we liked that we could afford. Um, So we've put a deposit down on it and now we're just waiting to grab it. Hopefully at the end of next week we should have it and we can then start our conversion, which will be good. We're looking at about 12 months to do it. Um, It might take a bit longer, it might take a bit less. Well, we're here under my contract for two and a half years, so we've got plenty of time, so we feel might as well start it early, got plenty of time to do it. Yep. So that's where we're at. So we're just waiting to get the rose now. We thought we'd give you an intro of who you are. As I said, I'm an IT guy, and Carolyn's... Counting. So that's what what (laughs) we do. Um, But for now... um, if you have any questions about what we're going to do or how we're going to do it or want to know anything more about your travels, our travels, you can have a look at our website, which is travelisweet.com. And also we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. And you can follow us there. And we have done a bit of travel already, but not the RV except for the three months in the States. Not that. And we're going to do that around Australia. 
we hope to be able to also uh, export it and go over to New Zealand and then possibly go further around because other people have done that. We didn't know that was even a possibility or affordable because we're on a very strict budget. Um, but once we heard that, we thought once we've finished Australia, if everything settles back down with COVID, why not? If we can go, if we can manage it, we'll, you know, look after our budget and keep working part-time as we go, then, yep, let's do that too. So hopefully very exciting times yeah. ahead. So stay tuned. We're going to go through um, all the build with you. We're going to video it for you so you'll be able to see everything we do. I think the next video I'm just going to put up is going to show you um what we've planned for the build like some diagrams and uh, our parts list and our pricing so i'll show you that quickly to you and then we'll start the, the build so thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon see you later Hello.